So I've been uh, skulking around on eBay again and I found this little electronic device uh, 12 volt and I'm uh, quite a fan of 12 volt stuff because of my interest in solar power so I wanted to look at this uh, 6 channel wireless switching unit relay unit so I fitted um, uh, one of these 2.1 millimeter connectors and also I had all these little 12 volt light bulbs left over from when I stripped down a, a slot machine many years ago so on the back of this unit I've run daisy chain wires from the power input to all the relays uh, so that uh, because the, these these connector blocks on the top just connect straight to the relays they don't supply power so I've run a supply line down there uh, which means I can power this thing up. This is uh, my 12 volt feed from the batteries outside. Let's plug it in. Little red light comes on, and that's the remote control. Now this is a six channel. Um, you've got the receiver unit here. The decoder chip is here. Let's see if we can get a closer look at that. Uh, not really. Right. Okay. So that is marked M6. M stands for momentary action. So when you press a button on the remote, the light comes on, and when you let go, it goes off. Momentary action. Uh, they also do an L-type chip, which is the latching action. So you press it, and it stays on. And the only way to get it off is to press one of the other channels, one of the other buttons. And there's also a T, which is toggle. So you press it once for on, and you press it again, again to go off. So with the six lights on there, we can have a look at the six channels. So that's one. Odd that it's not at one end, but anyway. Two, which is the next one up. That's that one. Three is that one. And four is the top one. Five, curiously, is the fifth one. And six is the sixth one. Odd that they go from the fourth relay up. And then five and six are the other way around and at the bottom. And when I looked at the uh, tracks on the underside of the board, it has indeed been laid out in that sequence. Very strange, but it probably made it easier to lay out uh, for the guy who designed it. Not quite so easy for the guy who ends up using it, but there you go. What can you do? Now the chip here, oh, but not shorted out, but anyway, the chip here has um, a bunch of pins which are not connected. But running just below it and just above it are the low and high lines, 0 volt and 5 volt. And the idea is that you can solder these pins either to low or to high, or you can leave them disconnected, which is a third state, and they call it tri-state. And that gives you, what would it be? It would be three, there are six uh, address lines on this device, so it would be three to the power of six, whatever that is. Uh, different addresses, uh, different codes, but these things all come unassigned so they all are supplied with the default code of all uh, tri-state, all high impedance inputs. So if you uh, plan to use them uh, for something that's reasonably secure you want to put a code into there otherwise you and your neighbours are all going to be uh, operating on the same channel, not ideal. And uh, just as a follow-up I also bought this four channel uh, wireless unit. Now this has the latching L4 chip, four channel latching, and that comes with this remote. And if I press the buttons on this remote, this lights up. But what's bizarre, well firstly D is one, uh, C is two, B is three, and A is four. But also whenever you press one of these, both 5 and 6 come on as well, which is very odd. And I have to say that I haven't really looked into why yet, but it's just one of the quirks of these incredibly cheap, interesting devices that you can get on eBay.